And this is the thing, man. Keanu, I thought, played really well. I was excited to see what he was doing, run game and pass game. Montrevis didn't play terrible. I thought his effort was good. I thought that he did some good things versus one-on-one. -on -one. His problem is pride. And what I mean by that is this. Versus the double team, he does not want to sit on a bar stool when he is giving up movement. Anybody that's played D-tackle or in the trenches understands exactly what I'm talking about. Versus a hard double team, sometimes if you're giving up movement, you have to literally take your butt and go sit down like you're sitting on a bar stool and cause a pow. The mm. pow happens at two to three yards, but what that does is it keeps your linebackers free. And they're able to scrape and make plays. It's times I'm watching Cole... A Landon and Quan have to run around him five, six yards deep. You just got to make it messy. And even though it's a double team, you're not supposed to beat two NFL guys. That is how you combat it. You make the pile. And then everybody else can go out it. But it was like he didn't want to give up out the fight. Right. And that's the part when I talk the pride part. Because when you in that double team, you're like, nah, bro, I'm stout. I'm stout. And you fighting, fighting, fighting. And in your mind, you fighting. But everybody else, you're like, bro, you back here with me, bro. Like, just drop. If you just drop, that's a win. That's something that when you talk ah. about coaching, though, they're going to coach that up. They're going to look on that tape and see the same thing I saw. And they're going to say, bro, is it that you can't be stout against the run, I though? I like that little I've tidbit. seen you be stout. But versus the double, and that's a coaching point, versus the double team, bro, if you're giving up movement, sit on the bar stool. The same way you go to your local watering hole and you would pop, do just like that, versus the double team, you sit and sit and sit. All right, I'm giving up movement. Pop. And you're going to cause a power there, bro. And that's how you get up out that down. But that was one of the things that I thought for Montrevis, he had to be better at understanding when to take an L on that down and not make it a worse play because your pride is saying, let me keep fighting. I loved his effort. You look on the McCaffrey long touchdown run, it's Pat P in the end zone and it's 57 down there. Think about that. Doing his best, Cam. Hey, Think about impression. that, man. So... In terms of, do I want that guy on the field? 100%. If you give me that type of effort, that type of energy, bro, yeah, I will play that. But you got to be better in terms of understanding the situation, understanding what we are asking from you in this play. On a double team, it's not your time to make the play. It's not. If you're going to make the play on a double team, it's a quick double, and that guard is flying up to the backer. And we always say, if you're getting double team, it's on me as a linebacker to get that double off of you, me coming downhill. Or if they're going to stay on that double, it's on me to make the play. But if you allow yourself and this double to get in my way, I can't help you. That's what he just got to learn, man. And he'll learn that. It's a field thing. And I wonder, too, because first regular season game, you're doing the four quarters now. How much of that might have played into it? You were anticipating having Cam out there a lot more. Cam not out there. Maybe we're asking you to do a lot more than you were anticipating. I don't think Keanu Benton or Montrevis are 100% snap guys just yet. I do feel like Keanu, to me at least, would be 50-50, just based on what I saw, you know, in this past game. Yeah, I, like I don't him. hate 50-50 to start out. But I don't. I wouldn't just put Keanu exclusively out there and say you don't need a Montrevis anymore because this is still a rookie. And as we've been seeing, even with Kenny, it's up and down at times, man. It gets less up and down the further along we go, but it's still, you got that. So I need to see from Keanu, what does that look like this week versus a different group, versus a different style of offense? How does your body recover? How does your mentality recover? It's easy to prep for the first game. We've been talking about it for all year. It's easy to be excited for that game. All right, can you get back to working in the lab, though, after a loss, after the people going to say some negative stuff about you? Can you still watch that amount of tape? Can you still go get your lick? Can you still do all these little things right? With rookies, that's what we're trying to figure out, man. Right. Today's show is brought to you by the one and only DraftKings Sportsbook. You know the top-rated sports booking app. It's football season. Plenty of people out here trying to have a little fun. This is the app that you go to. This is the app that you use. This is the app that we use. And why do we use it? Because it is safe, it is secure, but more importantly, Deke, it's reliable. Just like your barber. Your barber delivered a fire cut for you. That's reliability right there. All right? Yeah. And that's what DraftKings Sportsbook is. They are reliable. And y'all know if we're going to talk about them, we're going to talk about them for a reason. And that's because we have a promo code. So when you first, you know, decide to hop into this game called sports gambling, sports betting, sports booking, all that good stuff, you're going to have that first time when you're putting that wager in. So when you're on DraftKings and it's your first time making a bet, all right, you're going to have to put a little deposit down. 
if you put the minimum, which is five dollars, and you put the promo code MOTES along with said minimum, you will instantly receive two hundred dollars in free bet. It's a beautiful concept. It's like you scratch my back, I'm gonna really scratch your back. You can't go wrong with it, baby. So I love that part about them. But at the same time, Deke, it's not always butterflies and rainbows. Sometimes people struggle. Sometimes people can't handle all the fun right. that's associated with sports betting. And sometimes you or someone you know might have a gambling problem. They might need some crisis counseling or even referral services. Those people that live in New York. Sitting number on the screen right now for you to text. And under that number for everybody else, it's a number you could call. And that number is 1-800-GAMBLER. I said 1-800-GAMBLER. 